Hi, I'm Allie Hamilton at yogisanonymous.com, and we're gonna do a quick stretch session if you've been sitting for too long. So go ahead and make a long spine. See if you can feel your sit bones rooting down and rise up. And we're gonna just take a really gentle, simple twist. So take your left hand to the chair and take your right hand to the back of the chair behind you and just lengthen your spine. You can imagine there's a book balancing on the crown of your head and twist and breathe into the twist. And when you exhale, maybe you twist a little bit more and then inhaling back to center. And of course, we're going to go the other way. Exhaling, so bringing your right hand to the outside of the chair and the left hand to the, the chair back. And again, you're trying to create that long spine and twisting as you go. And try to just explore twisting a little more deeply with your exhales if that feels right. Nothing should hurt. And inhaling back to center. And so hopefully you can get to a wall. Okay, if you can, you're just gonna walk yourself over and bring your arm just right at shoulders height behind you and you're leaning into the wall. And so front leg is bent, back leg is straight. And the more you open this other shoulder toward the center of the room, the more you're gonna feel a stretch in the shoulder that's against the wall. And then of course you're gonna to wanna to switch sides. So be sure that the arm is at shoulder's height. You're bending the front leg. Back leg is kind of like a kickstand. And just to whatever degree feels right, opening your chest toward the center of the room, breathing deeply. And if you carry a lot of tension in the shoulders and the chest, you'll probably feel this a lot. And then we're gonna come away from the wall. And one of the best things you can do for yourself is hang forward. So if you, in the middle of the day, if you can like just, you know, bend your knees and just let your torso fold forward and think like a rag doll. See if you can really just like let your neck go let your spine go, feel free to sway. You can clasp elbows if that's comfortable. Breathing deeply is always what we're looking for with yoga. Just nice deep breathing, kind of letting the day roll off your back. Don't gonna be any heavy thoughts kind of spilling out the crown of your head. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I already feel better. <laughs> and then lengthen your spine to a flat back and press into your feet. We're gonna come back to the chair. And when you get there, just imagine you're like reading the paper back when we used to actually have a paper, right? <laughs> and cross your right ankle above the left knee. And so flex your right foot. Now, some of you might feel this a lot, so that might be plenty, and you can stay right there. If you're comfortable, fold it forward. And you can be up on the ball of your left foot. Breathe in and breathe out. You can really do so much with just this little bit of movement in the middle of your day, releasing your spine your shoulders, your hips, psoas muscle, just really letting your body um, open and recover. Sitting is not great for us. Lengthen your spine and inhale back up. And we're gonna, of course, switch sides, picking up the left ankle, crossing it above the right knee. Try to maintain, you know, flex this foot and see. So for, again, for some people, that's gonna be a lot of sensation. And then you just sit up nice and tall and breathe deeply. And for those of you who feel comfortable at this point, long spine, fold forward.
Just make sure your shoulders aren't like hunching up around your ears as you do this. And inhaling lengthen your spine and come on up and uncross the legs and hopefully just that little bit right this the major um, muscle groups that people feel generally shoulders hips hamstrings and your spine so hopefully you're able to very quickly just kind of open up and get a free flow of energy going again and recharge um, and then you can begin again whatever it is that you're doing thanks so much for practicing namaste